Hey guys, Garage Sailor Vaughn here. Uh, it is Saturday, February 16th, and I'm going to show you the finds that I picked up this morning. So, let's get to it. Okay, so here is the first thing. Um, you see the giant tag in the inside. It is a 90s Levi's size large men's jacket. Uh, Levi's jackets seem to do really, really well for me. Uh, at least all the ones I've had. Um, so the guy was asking $20 for this jacket, and I was like, oh god, why does it have to be so much? I normally get them for like a good price. And uh, I got it, I ended up buying it for 15 and I thought it was going to be worth more than I think it's going to end up selling for, but I paid 15 and I think I could get like $40 tops for it probably. Um, kind of disappointing, I mean, if I can get 40 so not... Not as good as I was hoping for, but you can see the inside. It's like a flannel blue, light blue, and all, actually all these different shades of blue. And yeah, it has two bottom pockets. And here's the back. Pretty plain. Squeegee-ish there. Um, so yeah, $15 for this jacket. And not as happy about it as I thought it was going to be. But it's a very nice jacket and there's no problems with it, which is nice. The next thing I just picked up a racket just because I've been looking up and seeing how much tennis rackets are um, recently and they're they're pretty expensive especially for uh, prince rackets or head rackets and this is actually a youth's, uh, youth racket. Um, I think it will probably not sell as easily but Still, um, it's a weird size. Three and five eighths. All the ones I've seen are three and three fourths. And I think I could sell it for like twenty dollars, and I paid three dollars for it. Um, but again, that's a lot of shipping cost. Or I could just put it on Craigslist for like ten or fifteen or something. Um, either way, I think I can get my money worth out of it. It's a pretty nice racket. And the next thing, I went to a used clothing store, um, and this one was on sale. I'll show you how much I paid first. I paid sixteen fifty, and it is a men's Gucci shirt made in Italy. And this tag shows the size. Uh, so it's like a long sleeve dress shirt. I sold a plain white one for $70, so I was like, okay, well, I'll definitely be able to make a somewhat close to that amount with this one. It doesn't seem to have any problems at all. It's really nice. Uh, cuffs are nice. You can see they say Gucci on all of the buttons. For this shirt, I paid $16.50 plus tax. And I'm going to list it for $50 and see how it does. And here is the last thing that I got. And these are black Ugg boots. Um, real Ugg boots. As you can see in the tag in the back. They have this stitching here. And they're in good shape. I'm going to clean them up a little bit. But other than that, I mean, they're in pretty good shape. No problems or anything. Just a uh, average use. Um, you can see the bottom here shows the size. So Uggs do very, very well on eBay. People don't want to pay the crazy high prices that they are new, so people buy them on eBay. And I paid four dollars for these Uggs, and my estimate is that I'm going to try to sell them on eBay for uh, at least fifty dollars. Is going to be my my asking price so very very cool find I always try to find Uggs whenever they even look like Uggs I go check it out they're normally Fugs or fake Uggs <laughs> but these are some real ones which is really nice so here are all my finds for today um, I spent a total of thirty eight dollars and fifty cents and my estimate for everything um, all my estimates added together uh, is a hundred and sixty dollars and that is not my profit. That is how much I think I'll be able to sell everything for. Um, shipping will also kick in quite a bit because all this stuff's quite a bit bigger than just shipping in like a manila envelope or something.
Thank you guys so much for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.